welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel my name is Melissa and we talk about all things plants here <laughs> Today, I am in the mood of making videos. I don't know what these video. I think this is my third video I've made in a row. Let's keep the roll ball rolling. Yes. I don't know what's going on. Just in good mood. So today, we're talking about this Cebu Blue Pothos. This guy needs to be cut because I don't like it. So in this video today, I'm going to show you how to propagate the Cebu Blue Pothos. And I'm also going to show you how to make a pot more full. Super, super easy, you guys. Just a fun little fact, I purchased this plant like probably in the fall time and it was literally a node with no roots and one leaf. Um, okay, so it didn't really do anything during the winter. I set up my greenhouse and I put it in my greenhouse and then this happened. You guys, this happened within a matter of a couple months. So if you have a struggling Cebu Blue Pothos and you want to have it grow really fast, I highly, highly, highly suggest putting it in your greenhouse, but let's get to chopping this guy up. All right, you guys, so you wanna make sure you have your sanitized shears, and like all pothos, for sure, and philodendrons, um, most plants, you wanna be cutting at the node. So this is a node, a node is where the leaf grows out of, and you're just gonna wanna cut just, just below the node. Um, actually, I wanna show you something too. Here, this is called an aerial root. So this already has roots. This will easily be fine if you pot it right into soil and almost every single node of mine has aerial roots. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm just going to chop this guy up. You wanna go in at a 45 degree angle and just below and we're gonna go one, two, three. Bloop. The excess here, you can just chop off. Nothing's gonna grow from that, so that's just garbage. And then you just continue on. And I'll do it one more time. And there you have it. So how many do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So really, if you wanted to, you could root these in water or just make six new plants and um, sell them. But I, this is my personal one. So now I'm just going to plop these into this soil. Super, super duper, 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 duper easy. Uh, this works better if you use scissors and make sure the soil is moist. But basically all I'm gonna do is just make a little hole in the soil. I hope you can see that. And I'm just going to plop in the cuttings that I made just all over the pot. Not only are you gonna get a bigger plant, but you're gonna get a more full plant. You can do this with like any uh, pothos varieties. Um, you can do this with any philodendrons. You honestly can do this with a lot of different plants. Maybe that's that will be a whole video in itself. <laughs> And there you have it. You have a same plant, but it's more full and it'll grow so, so much. And there you have it. Super easy to propagate and super easy to make any plant more full. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up. And let me know if you have a Cebu Blue, Blue Pothos because I absolutely love this plant. It's literally one of my favorites. But I'll see you guys next time. XOXO, MM. Bye.